Give it a tattooing on more who day and ninety. Okay, and I've got chocolate, so I'm happy. <laughs> so I we were meant to do a double up yesterday, Fano, so Arohamai, this is your double up today. We're actually on day ninety, so this is the ten day countdown, Fano. And just doing another follow up quarter from what our Porto Rita uh, Kane Haida talked about in his session. So he gave us a little bit of a brief quarter about some of the things that Topotsky with Muratana did when he visited uh, Australia in 1924. So mi atu kia koe te apotoro mo o um, And so this is some of the things that stuck out for me. Uh, he said that Sydney, when Ratana visited there, he said that is the gateway. Sydney is the tato. And so when he went to Melbourne, he said another corridor that Melbourne is actually the key. And so there's a mutual relationship uh, where I, when I hear that corridor that Sydney and Melbourne have together and the big role that this, um, that Ratana tried to, um, um, I guess the seeds that he tried to uh, plant at that time. Uh, and in that thread, there was some corridor about uh, where the placements are of our Moruhu within Australia, so I've actually linked those all in this uh, section. Um, but I, Fano, we're not, we are 10 days out, not, not, not too long to go. And so just a few things, I guess, to be mindful of when we get closer to this um, 100 day celebration, uh, 100 year celebration of the arrival of the Wairua Tapu, is thinking about, um, yes, the 8th of November is the big day, but what's the kororo, what's the situation going to be for us on the 9th of November? So trying to think ahead, you know, cool, we're celebrating 100 years, but this is also a time for us to kind of reflect and think about what the next 100 years is going to look like. Remembering that Topotiki Unmuratana, he was actually a trendsetter. Everything that he did, everything that he had at the time, um, he was... Uh, he used the best of the best. The printing machine that he used at that time was state of the art. Um, it was the most up to date um, printing machine at the time, and he used that to uh, communicate important messages uh, messages all around the world. Uh, so that spirit of creativity and innovation um, needs to continue. Um, and so that's one of the other things about this marmatanga. It was about this maramatanga being a bridge builder for people to create stronger relationships with Ihua. Uh, this maramatanga is not meant to be a barrier. Some of the things that took place in 1925, I guess, introduced a, um, a religious, tra just traditional way of creating a relationship with Ihua, which was relevant at that time. Uh, so we are coming up to 100 years, and this is time for us to actually ask, what do we want the next 100 years to look like? What does the surface look like right now in Aotearoa? Um, what is the well-being in terms of our people spiritually um, with their relationship with Iho? All those things we need to kind of ask as we get closer to the 100-year celebration. Um, so, the next couple of videos, we're still going to be carrying on with some of uh, the hiding that Ratana went on around the motu. Um, and if you are one of those people that hold a significant kōrero in terms of what Ratana did in those areas. Um, give me a PM, give me a private message, and we'll see if we can um, set up a, a, a live session. We've had a, a couple of struggles with a few previous live videos we've tried to do with other people to bring them on. Um, but yeah, if you're pretty savvy with technology and you know how this stuff works, um, yeah, give us a holler. And we'll try and coho te te rongapai together. Um, in the last couple of videos, we're just going to be doing a bit of a build-up. Um, so looking at some of the key events that took place prior to the 8th of November. And trying to understand what those meanings were and why those things happened. Everything happened for a reason. Um, and so those last five days, we'll kind of uh, try and get an insight as to um, why those things happened. But I, Fano. Just to reiterate the quarter all that our portal reader shared, I Sydney is the gateway and Melbourne is the key. The portal also said that in other areas of Australia, Ratana left a Turanga. He left a quarter there. So 
uh, maybe we'll be able to explore that in these last couple of days. Uh, but if not, uh, kete pai tato, we're going to, um, after the uh, 8th of November, we're going to try and go a bit more in depth and really lock down some of this kōrō that's happened around um, the motu, not just the motu, but around the world. So, um, I find out, but other than that, hey, don't wait for us to put this uh, kōrō out there for you. For you, uh, you got to go and find that stuff yourself. So, um, I celebrate whānau, we're 10 days out. So I just want to acknowledge all of those who have been putting in the hard yards, and those inside the par and those outside of the par. Uh, we've all been preparing ourselves for this big event. So, mihi nui kia tato. Um, and we're going to end it there tonight, whānau. Um, so, I hope everyone has a good moi tonight. Um, and I hope everyone else is um, preparing well for the 8th of November. So, uh, no reira, ngā mana ki tanga, o iho ngā mano ki rongi a tātou katoa, matua tama wairua tapu ngāni heropono me te māngai hei tautuko mai, hainei ākenei ai.